Last week, you learned how to access your server's desktop over the network, but now you need to keep your server connected to the network when you put it in the closet. Today, I'll show you how to use your old router as a wireless card to keep that server connected to the network. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and find out whether or not your router is supported for the Tomato firmware. If it is, you can go down here and download the zip file. You'll be taken to a SourceForge page, and then your file will start downloading. So now you can plug in your router and run an Ethernet cable from the router to the computer you've downloaded the files onto. Now you're going to want to disconnect from the network your computer was previously connected to. Now you can unzip the files in the zip folder. Right click, extract all, and then wait for the files to copy. Now you can go to your router's IP address. In most cases, it'll be 192.168.1.1 unless you've changed it. Here, you'll be asked for a username and password. Based on the default settings, the username will be admin and the password will be admin, but if you've changed these settings, make sure to use those. Now, you'll wanna click on administration and then firmware upgrade. Here, you can choose a file that is appropriate for your router and click open. Now you can click the upgrade button. Now be patient and it'll load. And when it's done, you'll get this upgrade as successful page. Now you can click continue and you'll be taken into the tomato firmware. Up at the top here, you're going to want to select DHCP. And if you want this feature, you can turn on use WAN port for LAN. Now you can scroll down and change the setting to wireless client. Now under SSID, enter your normal network SSID and next to channel, you can click scan. Choose the channel that your current wireless network is on and then under encryption, choose the encryption method that your network uses. Below that, you can enter your key and then you can click save. Now go to Google and test it out and see if it works. If it doesn't, you can follow some troubleshooting directions at the second link in the description. If it does work, go in and change your administration password by clicking on administration and then scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Now type in a secure password and click save. Next week, I'll show you how to securely access your home network from anywhere you have an internet connection by using a VPN.